Hello, my name is Di Thomas and in this video we're going to show some examples of informal assessment activities which can be conducted in the classroom with learners who may display dyslexia or dyslexic type tendencies. The informal assessment activities you're going to see are designed to assess the learner's ability linked to reading, writing, spelling and phonological awareness. Okay, Yon, again, thank you very much for helping me today. What we're going to do in this next bit is do some examples of some different informal assessment activities. Are you happy to do that? Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do then, I'm going to ask you to do some activities which are linked to you doing some reading, some writing, and also some skills linked to literacy, like working out whether words rhyme together or not. Okay, you're happy to do that? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay, the first thing I'd like you to do then, on the desk in front of us, I've got a number of pieces of paper. Okay, on these pieces of paper that are hidden underneath here, I've got some words written on here. I'm going to uncover these words two at a time, and all I'd like you to do is to read out the words that are on the sheet. Are you happy to do that? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got... Van. And... Hum. Hum. Fantastic. Big. Fog. Well done. Sit. Top. Well done. Leg rot. Well done. Wet butt. That's fantastic. Well done, Ewan. Looking at all those words, what have they got in common? Is there uh, any patterns that you can see there? No. No. Are they all the same? Are they all have the same number of letters, for example? Yeah, they all have three letters. Okay, they've all got three letters, and each of them has got a certain type of letter in the middle. What letter have they got in the middle? Um, do they have um, vowels? They've all got vowels in the middle. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, so that's the first sheet. You're happy to go on to the second one. Mm. Okay, I've covered over using this one. Okay, so we've got some bigger words this time. Okay, so I'm going to do the same again. So we've Crap. got... Plum. Well done. Skip. Smug. Well done. Snap. Spin. Well done. Drop. Trap. And finally, grip, grin, grin, step. Well done, that's fantastic. I'm going to go on to the next sheet, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. What are these two first words here? Milk, hand. Well done. Sink, belt. Bunk, wisp. Loft, list. Dump, rent. Fantastic, you're doing really well, you are. Okay, we've got... Chip, rich, ditch, shed, pack, with, thin, fish, whip, zone. Fantastic, well done. Nearly at the end. Pain, me. No. Pain, me. Well done, you got a sneeze trying to come out? Yeah. Okay. Way late. Fantastic. Clawthorn. Bore. Raw. Well done. Shout clown. Fantastic. Moan bone. Blown chose. Well done. Collar. Colour. Well done. Dream field. Well done. Okay, and our final two sheets we've got. Meat beat. White light. Fantastic. Try by. Two brutes. Well done. Stew rule. Okay. And last of all, we've got. Cart glass. Hard burst. Well done. Shirt dirty. Well done. Curl herd. And that's our last one. Well done. Thank you very much for reading those words out for me, Yoan. Okay. The next few activities we're going to do, okay, you might see me writing some bits of information down on these pieces of paper, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to do a number of different activities on these. And this first one is looking at whether words rhyme or not. Okay, so if I said these two words to you, I want you to tell me whether you think they rhyme. Okay, okay. and the two words are cat, mat. Yes, they rhyme. Those words rhyme. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. Are you ready to try some more? 
Hmm. Okay. Can you tell me whether these two words rhyme or not? Pen. Pen. Yeah. Well done. Fan. Pin. Yeah. No. Okay. Well done. Bowl. Fall. Yeah. Well done. Boy. Top. Yeah. No. And the last one. Speak. Leak. Yeah. They do. Well done. Thank you, Joan. Okay. This time I'm going to give you three words together. I want you to tell me which two of those words rhyme. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, if I give you the words tan, man, nap, which two of those words rhyme? Tan and man. Tan and man. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. Are you ready to go on and do some more? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay. So out of these three words, can you tell me which two rhyme? Sip, lip, pin. Sip and lip. Fantastic. Well done. How about these next three? Fun, ten, sun. Fun and sun. Well done, you one. Thank you. How about these? Nap, can, ran. Man. Fantastic. And the final one, what about wit, sick, bit? Wit and bit. Wit and bit. Well done, Yo, and thank you very much. Okay, this time I'm going to give you a word, and what I'd like you to do is to try and think of three other words that rhyme with it. Are you happy to do that? Mm -hmm. So, if I gave you the word bat, for example, Mm. What three words could you think of that rhyme with bat? Bat, hat, mat, cat. Hat, mat, cat. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. What if I gave you the word cot? Um, cot. Um, cot. Shot. Shot. Fantastic. Well done. You're doing really well, Johan. Thank you. How about this next one then? Can you think of three words that rhyme with hole? Um, mole. Well done. All. Small. Small. Fantastic. And the last word I'm going to give you. Can you think of three words that rhyme with pen? Man. Pen. Ten. Ten. Fantastic, Johan. That's excellent. Well done. Okay. This time, then, we're going to do something slightly different, okay? I'm going to say out some sounds that go together or blend together to make words, okay? So, I'm going to say out some sounds, a little bit like a robot, mm -hmm. and I want you to tell me what word they would make if you put those sounds or blended them together, okay? So, mm -hmm. for example... If I said the sounds d, o, g, what could those be blended together to make? Dog. Dog. That's fantastic, Johan. Well done. Should we try another practice one? Yeah. What if I went r, a, t? Rat. Rat. That's fantastic. Well done. Are you happy to do some more? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. What if I said to you then, what, can you, what word can you make if you blend these sounds together? T. Ip. Tip. Fantastic. How about k a p? Cap. Well done. How about if I went s n a p? Snap. Fantastic. How about if I said the sounds ch i p? Chip. Chip. That's fantastic. And the last one, how about if I said the sounds b? Uh, d. Bird. Bird. Well done, Johan. That's excellent. Okay. This time, I'm going to say a word. Okay? What I want you to do this time is to try and split it up into the different sounds or blends that it makes. So we're going to do the opposite of what we've just done. So, for example, if I said the word top... How could we split that word up into different sounds? Tip up. That's fantastic. Well done. Excellent. 
Shall we try one more as an example? Okay, what about then if I said to you the word pit? Pitta. Pitta, that's fantastic, well done. Are you happy to do a couple more? Yeah. Okay, you really got the hang of this, well done. What about then if I said to you the word step? Step, apple. Fantastic. What about the word ship? Apple. Fantastic. What about the word frog? Frog. Okay, and the last one, what if I said the word lost? Lost. Fantastic, Owen. Well done. Happy? Yes. Okay. Right, this time I'm going to say some words. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to try and work out what those words would sound like if we took out some of the sounds that are in them. Mm. Okay? So, can you repeat after me the word dog? Dog. Okay. Can you say what that word would be like now if we took out the sound d? Og. Og. Well done. So, dog without the d, you're quite right, sounds like og. Okay? Are you happy to do some more? Mm. Okay. Can you say the word mat? Mat. Can you say the word mat without the m? Mm? At. Well done. Can you say the word cat? Cat. Can you say the word cat without the k? At. Fantastic. Well done. Can you say the word stop? Stop. Can you say stop without the s? Top. Fantastic, well done. Can you say frog? Frog. Can you say frog without the f? Rock. Well done. Can you say the word lost? Lost. Can you say lost without the s? Lot. Lot, well done, that's a bit trickier that one. And the last one, can you say the word frog? Frog. Can you say frog without the r? Frog. Frog. Well done, you and thank you. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at something called syllables. Do you know what syllables are? Um, is it like, um, say, my name, Johan. Mm. Well done. So, when you said your name then, what did you do at the same time? Um, Clap the syllables. And clap the syllables. And how many syllables did you have when you clapped out your name? Two. And two. Okay, now syllables, I'll be honest, this is something I find really tricky. I don't get syllables very much. Okay, and I'm rubbish at doing claps and beats and things like that as well. Okay, so we'll see how many of these you can do. Are you happy to do some of these? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Can you tell me then, and we've already done this as an example, I suppose. How many syllables are there in your name, Johan? Um, two. Two. Well done. My proper name is David. How many syllables are there in David? Two. Two. Okay. Over on the other side of the room, then, we've got a computer. How many syllables are there in computer? Three. Three. How about how many syllables are there in the word Saturday. Three. Three. Okay, and we'll do one more word. How many syllables can you find in the word school? One. One. Okay, thank you very much. Well done, buddy. Right, we're going to do a little bit more with syllables if that's okay. We're not going to count them up this time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give you some parts of words or syllables. I'm going to say them separately. And I'm going to see if you can put these syllables together to make a full word. So, if I said, for example, the parts snow, man, what word could you make out of those two? Um, snowman. Snowman, that's fantastic. Well done. How about this one then? If I said the parts die, no, saw, what do they make? Dinosaur. That's fantastic. Well done. 
Okay, are you happy to do three more? Yeah. Brilliant, okay. What if I said to you, clev er? Clever. Fantastic, well done. What if I said, photograph? Photograph. That's fantastic, well done. And the last one I'm going to ask you, what word do you make from these? Un-de-stand-ing. Understanding. Understanding. Well done, Yeoan. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. This time, then, I'm going to say two words. Okay. And what I want you to do is to tell me whether I'm saying the same word twice or whether I'm saying two different words. So you can either say same or different. So I'll give you some examples. If I said to you, house, mouse, am I saying the same word twice or different words? Different words. That's fantastic, well done. What about then if I said, pan, pan? The same word. They're the same word, well done. Okay, so we can have same if the two words are the same, or you can say different if they're mm -hmm. different. Okay, are you happy to do a couple more? Okay. If I said rag, bag. Um, different words. Different, okay. What about gate, cake? Different. What about sun, sun? Same. What about tap, pat? Um, same. No, no. No, I'm going to change your answer? Yeah. Okay, so what's the answer to that one? I'm not the same. Not the same, okay. What about nip, pin? Not the same. Not the same, okay. Kind, kind? Same. Sit, sit? Same. Mug, hug? Not the same. Not the same, well done. What about chip, ship? Not the same. Well done. Tin, tan. Not the same. No, no. Same. Well done. Step, stop. Not the same. What about bog, dog? Not the same. In, on. Not the same. And the last one, trip, trap. Not the same. Not the same. Fantastic, Ewan. Really well done. Okay. The last thing I'm going to ask you to do for now then, I'm going to put this piece of paper down on the table. I'm going to give you my pen. And what I'm going to ask you to do, can you see we've got the numbers 1 to 10 going down? Yeah. In the column next to it, we've either got a letter or a word. What I'd like you to do, going across in the line, is circle where you see that line or word again. Okay and you'll have one on each line. Yeah. Okay, so you've done the first one, well done. Fantastic. Well done. So I hope we get to the paper for you. Well done. Fantastic. Well done, you one. And last one. That's brilliant. Thank you very much indeed for agreeing to do those assessment activities. Again, mm. you've been fantastic. Really well done. Thank you.